Hey folks, it's me, Mike Hernandez, and we're here to talk about uh, how to, uh, it's our, no, we're here in uh, sunny Portland, Oregon, and it's time for Drone Brick. Ooh, it's cold out there. So we're gonna do this installation indoors. Today we're installing the spring fairing kit. So what is the spring fairing kit? The spring fairing kit is T-Cycle's latest addition to the Windwrap lineup. The spring, or super portable rider insulating nose guard, is a small polycarbonate bubble that affixes to the front of your bike or trike with the help of a small CNC machine aluminum clamp to keep your feet from getting chilly in the cold and wet. Included in your spring kit is all the necessary hardware required to set up your new fairing. For more information, visit t-cycle.com and search for spring. So when you get your kit in the mail, it's going to come to you in a bag with a bunch of sub-assemblies and your instructions at the top. You're also going to have your fairing rolled up in some plastic and some foam. Uh, don't go crazy cutting that open because your fairing's inside. And then you can leave the blue plastic film on it until you're ready to ride. Okay, now let's familiarize ourselves with our sub-assemblies. The first thing we've got is the mounting block assembly. Next we have our bow tie assembly. Next is our crossbar, and finally our frame clamp. If your boom is bigger than two inches, you're also going to need this shim. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is determine the diameter of our boom. You can do that by visiting t-cycle.com slash tube measuring tool. This particular boom happens to be an inch and five eighths. So I'm going to install my frame clamp with the arch and the bolts on the drive side and the frame clamp on the non-drive side. It was designed to get up close and personal with the derailleur mast, but beware of any cables or bosses and you want to avoid any obstructions. When it's pretty close to tight, you can go ahead and level it. Next up, Assemble the bow tie assembly. You want to make sure and keep the big washer in the slot. If your boom is larger than two inches, you're going to have that shim. And that shim is going to go right in between the bow tie and the plastic saddle here. On the back of the bow tie is this recess that fits perfectly over a frame clamp. Next we're going to assemble the mounting block assembly. At the end of this 9 inch tube you're going to see this bolt washer and nut combo just dangling there. Do me a favor and take that apart and pull out that hardware. Next we're going to rotate this tube around until the hole lines up with the arc. Reinstall our hardware. I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. These washers have a hard edge and a rounded edge. We take that rounded edge and we put it down. It's kind of hard to see, but you'll definitely feel it. Reinstall the hardware. Tighten it just past hand tight. And get ready for the next step. Before we attach the mounting block assembly to the bow tie assembly, we want to make sure that the bow tie assembly is nice and plumb. This is an instance where having your friend to help out can be really handy. They can stand in front of the trike while you sit in the seat, and then you can line this post up with the derailleur mast, with the main tube of the trike, or the straightness of the chain rings. Okay, now it's time to install the mounting block assembly to the bow tie assembly. The things we want to look out for here are that the T-clamp is facing up, and that the stainless pieces are facing down, and that the bolt head on our collar clamp are facing the non-drive side. You also want to make sure that the 1 inch tube slides over the 7 8 tube at this minimum point or less. And then line it up and tighten down the bolt. Now it's time to install the crossbar. On the crossbar we've placed some marks that say center. 
So loosen the M5 bolts from your T-clamp. Center your crossbar. Reinstall the arch and bolts. And the two lines should just be hardly visible on either side of the T-clamp. Now with the crossbar installed, let's make sure that everything is square. Again, we want to check and make sure that everything is lined up this way and that the crossbar is perpendicular to the trike. Yeah, we pretty much nailed it when we installed this one, but if it is off, you can loosen up these bolts and nuts and twist this until you achieve perpendicularity. It doesn't take loosening all four of these. It could even just be loosening two of them up at, at a time and twisting and then tightening it back down. Before installing the fairing, we're gonna show you the different points of adjustment on the mount itself. On the mounting block assembly, this collar clamp has an M6 bolt that you can loosen with an M5 wrench and slide away from the trike or towards the trike. On the bow tie assembly, using a four millimeter Allen key and your 10 millimeter box end wrench, you can loosen this bolt nut and rotate it up or down. On the mounting block assembly with a 4 millimeter Allen key and your 10 mil box end wrench, you can loosen up this bolt and nut combo and rotate that up and down as well. As we said before, you can loosen these bolts and nuts to adjust for perpendicularity, but this is also a point where you can slide this tube up and down for adjustment. Finally, on the crossbar, on this T-clamp, loosen up your M5 bolts and you can rotate your crossbar, making sure to keep it centered, and then tighten that back down. Now let's install the rubber nuts. The order of these parts matters, so you want to make sure that the thumb screw is going through this plastic washer, and then this rubber washer is on the front of the trike when you put the thumb screw through the fairing. And then you put the rubber nut on the inside of the fairing. Now with the rubber nuts loosely installed on the fairing, we're going to attach it to the four mounting points of the mount, starting with the lower. Slide the rubber nuts through the lower portion, and then attach to the top. And don't tighten anything down yet. Now to tighten the rubber nuts. Start to tighten, but don't over tighten. These are designed to swell, so as soon as you start to see them swell up, give them a little tug, and they should be in there nice and secure. Now that everything's installed, have a seat in your trike, and make sure that your feet clear the fairing comfortably. Go on a test ride and make any adjustments wherever needed. Now that you've gone on your test ride and made any adjustments necessary, go through the entire mount and just make sure that everything is tight, and double check it all again. And then... We designed the spring fairing kit to be easy to remove from the trike. One way to do that is to loosen the rubber nuts and take the fairing bubble off. Another way is to loosen this M6 bolt on the collar clamp. And take it off like that. Finally, You can remove it from the frame clamp itself. This way, when you're ready to ride again next season, just slap it back on and it's still adjusted. You can ride away and have a good time. Enjoy your spring fairing kit. Now get out there and do stuff. <laughs>